Hey folks, welcome back to In the Studio With. Well, it's blowing like crazy outside, storming away. So it's a great time to look back through the archives at a good sit-down conversation I had with a local jazz man. He may well be responsible for some of the guitars in your collection because he was instrumental in bringing in a lot of very innovative guitars into the Maritimes. He has a deep passion for music and for musicians and for guitars. So without further ado, here is... Hi, I'm Russ Brannan and uh, this is my Quart M800. And this guitar was uh, made and sold in the early 2000s. Okay, this guitar, I've, I've had this guitar for more than 10 years, probably 12, 14 years now that I think about it. Um, what I like about this guitar, and I think maybe this is a little bit of a reflection of time of life for me, I buy my guitars by weight. It's one of the most important factors. This guitar is incredibly light. As you can see, it's a, it's, it's a thin body, but what's unique about it is that it's a hollow body guitar. And not, not a semi-hollow body, but a true hollow body. And there's not many of these that you can find where there's no central block in the guitar. So that's a really fine feature of this, the weight. Other things it has that are really nice, it's got humbucking pickups with a coil, coil split here, which I think is a really, really cool feature. Beautiful neck, beautiful finish. Uh, Court really makes excellent guitars, and if anybody could ever find a used one of these, it would be a really good buy, because it wasn't an expensive guitar new. Uh, but this guitar, what really made it, uh, uh, maybe takes it to another level, is I, I'm not the kind of guy who can just not touch my guitars. I, I'm a tinkerer, and this guitar here uh, has a couple of features that I think would benefit anybody's guitar. If you notice here, instead of a three-way switch, I have a blend control blend pot and that allows me to have this pickup this pickup or anywhere in between and it has a center detente uh, I put a chicken head knob on there you could put any any type of a knob on that but that is a real enhancement that could even be done with guitars like strats by subbing out one of your tone controls for a blend pot to blend your say your uh, neck and your in your bridge pickup <laughs> done with this guitar that I've done to all my guitars is I've put a zero fret on. A zero fret has tremendous benefits to every guitar that I've changed. I've got it on my Strat, I've got it on my nylon string. What it does, it gives you the same feeling at the first position as if you had a capo on. Think about when you played a capo, how comfortable it is playing next to that capo and all your open strings ring beautifully. It's a real improvement. Now you have that at your first fret position, the guitar is tremendously comfortable right at that position. Your string slides over that steel fret effortlessly and it never gets pinched. The nut that's there is just to keep the string spacing. So now you've got better intonation. You never have to replace this again. This is, this is you know, no more nut jobs. You put a zero fret in and you've, you've got fixed your guitar really for life. So it's a great benefit. I've done that. But between that and, and this other modification on the blend pot, I think it takes the guitar to a, a great guitar to another level, really.
thing about this guitar that's that's interesting is I when I got it, it, it for those of you who know me I was in the retail business for years and I would bring in what I thought were innovative guitars and this was one of those guitars I had brought in and uh, it didn't sell it didn't sell and my staff came to me one day and said look uh, you know we're gonna have to blow that thing out because nobody wants it and I looked at it and said that's crazy I'll take it so I bought it for myself and basically after I did that it sat in my own inventory for quite years when I say inventory my very minor guitar collection and um, it, it just came out about three or four years after I had it that uh, a friend of mine, Rick Edgett, a great guitar player locally here, he uh, he needed a guitar. So I, you know, I, I, I thought I'd loan a guitar to him and I looked at this guitar and I said, this is a great guitar, I'm going to loan it to Rick. So Rick uh, took the guitar, he, uh, he had it for a year, played it, um, it, you know, it was beneficial to him during that time. He said he loved the guitar. He brought it back to me about a year later with all set up beautifully with new strings on it. I picked it up and started playing and I thought, God, how did I miss this? I knew it was a good guitar, but it was a lot better than I thought it was. And from that point on is when I started playing this guitar a lot and put it back into service in my, my collection. And, and today it's really my go-to guitar. I, I use this more than any other. some useful information out of it. I know I did. I hope you'll drop back real soon for our next video and I hope you'll like and subscribe and comment and ding the bell and blow the horn and jump on one foot like a kangaroo or the kangaroos jump on one foot? But leave a comment down below. Tell us what you're playing. Give us your opinions. Everybody's got one. So if you want to say thanks just add a long distance traveler song and a Russ Brandon song to your playlist on whatever platform you use and that would be awesome. I'll put Russell's links down below so you can follow his adventures. And now there's only one thing left. Go to the shack and make some noise. I'm in a cabin out in the woods. Just living off the grid. Sometimes I go to town and I regret that I did. So many mistreated. So many misunderstood. Sometimes it makes me angry. Yeah.